Hey, what's up, everybody? You asked me what I'm doing for my workouts and my diets during this uh, during these peptides that I'm taking, CJC1295 and even morelin. So I figured I'd just do a quick video and lay it out for you, and hopefully it helps. If you haven't already, I've got a whole bunch of different videos documenting my journey of doing these peptides, CJC1295 and even morelin, no DAC. Uh, so subscribe if you haven't already. You can go back and watch all of those. I show you what I receive in the mail from my doctor. I go through the different scans that I get. I give you a week-by-week -week breakdown of what's been happening. I'm just about ready to wrap up cycle two, so go and watch those if you haven't already. So subscribe, I mean. Subscribe and then watch them. I think that's what you're supposed to say. Smash that button. So here's essentially been my process. Now, I want to caveat maybe this with two things. One is that keep in mind that if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I've been pretty disappointed with the results that I have had on uh, during this journey that the scans that I'm getting right now are actually going the wrong direction. My fat's actually gone up and my muscles, muscle has been going down despite what seems like not much of a change in my processes from cycle one, which had great scans and <laughs> things were looking really good and I was very excited. So that's the first thing is I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing, but I'm not sure that it's doing anything. The peptides are, I'm not sure it matters, but I'm gonna, I'll walk you through those things anyway. The second thing is, uh, I didn't really change anything with my processes whenever I started doing these peptides was, and that's because I didn't want to like tighten a bunch of stuff up. And then all of a sudden, a month later, if I'm having great results, I felt like I wouldn't be able to say for sure. Yeah, it's because of the peptides. I would be going like, well, maybe it's the peptides. But maybe it's because I started to do that other thing too. Right. So I didn't want to change my, uh, my processes too much. I really wanted to put the pressure onto the peptides and make them do the thing that those people on TikTok say that they do. They all say it's a magic pill and it's a magic bullet. So I wanted to introduce it into my life and let it do what it is being sort of advertised as doing, if it's going to do it, which I wasn't even sure that that was going to happen. So I didn't change a lot, but here's essentially what I have been doing during this process, which is really the same that I was doing before the process. So from a workout perspective, I work out six to seven days a week. A lot of you are going to say, well, that's too much. And I would say, yes, yeah, sort of. But something I've learned about myself is that I tend to just do better if I stay engaged in something. If I take two days off, it's just mentally really hard for me to not turn that into three. And that's just something that th this gray hair is not there by happenstance. It's just something I've learned about myself. Now, I'm careful about what I do during those six or seven days so that I'm not going to snap something, hopefully, or I'm still giving my body a chance to sort of recover. So I only do like three days of heavy lifting, compound movements, things like that. And then the other four days are some combination of high rep, low weight, or cardio. I'm usually there for 40 minutes or something like that, maybe up to an hour, depending on which cardio I actually choose. So that's basically my workouts. I, I really try to concentrate on the compound movements on the heavy days, trying to uh, heavier weights, obviously, lower reps. I had said in a couple videos ago, I hit a PR. So I've been really kind of pushing towards strength. And I'm also making sure to go from head to toe. I'm concentrating a lot during the last year, not just the peptides, but on my lower body, getting stronger with my squats, getting stronger with my legs. So I'm really kind of trying to spread the love everywhere all over my body and with the types of workouts that I'm doing. From a dietary standpoint, I kind of use the uh, the macro system mentally because I've been doing macros for so long. So I'm usually uh, somewhere in the 210 to 220 grams of protein a day range, give or take some. And so with that, uh, that's really my main target. I don't worry much more about carbs or fats. I'm really kind of targeting the proteins more. And that's how I've been for uh, several years after I got tired of actually tracking. I was tracking for so long. I kind of got a pretty good idea now, as long as I hit that number, that everything else is going to fall pretty close into line. So that's from a food perspective. I don't shy away from really any types of specific foods. Um, but the one thing that has happened on these peptides is because I have to stop eating every night at nine o'clock, because you have to at least stop eating two or three hours before you go to bed. So it keeps me from gorging at night, which is a problem for me generally, because if I open that door of sugar late night, that door does not close unless I force myself to go to bed. So this has kind of kept me away from that. Zero alcohol, I shouldn't say zero alcohol, almost no alcohol, maybe a total of four drinks since March. We're now in August, which is a big change actually for me. That is one behavior that has changed a lot, not because of this, but because um, you know, there's some other sort of health stuff going on. And so we just have put that to the side for now, but during this process really haven't drank any, which I miss. So, um, that's kind of it. I haven't really changed anything else. Now I am also, uh, wise enough ish old enough, at least to realize that some of those, um, some of those scans, some of those results that I've been getting as of late that I've been disappointed in could be a result 
of me not actually tightening it up. See, I wanted to put the pressure on the peptides these first couple of cycles because I wanted to see if what these people were saying was true. And I didn't want to help them too much. But I'm kind of at a point now where I think that I need to coordinate and cooperate a little bit more with the peptides and make it more of a handshake instead of more of like, a, hey, you come to me, maybe I need to meet it in the middle just a little bit. Um, because for me, it has not been a magic pill and it has not been a magic bullet whatsoever. So, um, you know, I'm in week eight of cycle two, which means cycle two is almost over. I take another month off. And this is all, some of you have asked me this question. Everything that I do here is prescribed from a doctor, the dosing, the timings, everything. So I take a month off and then um, I'll come back and we'll do And so during that month, I'm just going to kind of reanalyze and reconfigure what it is that maybe I should do to cooperate and coordinate a little bit more with the peptides this time in cycle three. And let's just kind of see what happens. But that's kind of where I want to end this video. You all had asked me about the food. You had asked me about the workouts. I'm just doing what I kind of normally do, but I sort of did that with a purpose and with a reason. I think I'm ready to switch that up just a little bit now. So hopefully that's helpful for you guys um, and answers some of those questions. And if not, like always, drop them down in the comments below. I thank you guys so much for doing that. The This series uh, here on my channel has been by far one of the most popular series as far as interactions and people jumping in and watching. Seems that there's a lot of people that had the same kind of questions that I had. Uh, so it makes me feel a little bit less crazy to know that there's some other people out there just like me that's just like, I'm trying to figure this stuff out. And uh, hopefully what I'm doing here maybe helps you figure out just a little bit of it. Some of your comments have absolutely helped me figure out some of this stuff too. So thanks you all so much for participating and hanging out down there. That's where I'm going to end this video. I'm going to do another one at the end of week eight, which is the end of cycle two. We'll do a wrap up there and um, that'll be in a week. So we'll see you then. Peace out.